I ended up working in this, this industry by mistake. I had now problems when I was younger, no job and no parents, blah, 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 you know, this common stuff. And I went to work as a dishwasher. When I was washing plates, heck, the first three months were like really hell. Tipo, I became a pro dishwasher, heck, learning how to wash the plates, so heck. And I used to watch the chefs cook. All day, the whole interest. I was seeing it cool, the adrenaline. Like, oh, no willy duck, no willy duck, hey, boys, how more, you know, the action of the kitchen was, was, was fun. No? But then after like a few months, after I said washing plates and memorizing everything, I went to like, need bustas, you know? Not to look cool with the other chefs, I was going to home cool, with chef jackets, or work, or bandanas and big knives, you know? I went to help, start to help out. My first plate, that was a spaghetti bolognese. But when I was, uh, working in this restaurant, Marak Maj was my first job. I was building a good reputation with the other chefs. I stayed learning, I, for example, if I used to work at six, I used to go at three. And I stayed practicing in the kitchen, you know? I used to get my wage, more than I share Yazaira. I buy like a yacht, some spaghetti, work, and I used to try experimenting. Most time I used to screw up, that's the you know? <laughs> you know? The chef used to help me a lot, but we found out that the chef, he was really sick, he was dying, work, you know? And he's still like, can you say, okay, yeah, you're gonna be great, you're gonna be great, you know, you're gonna learn. I used to like give up, you know. But he used to come in the corner, eh? You smoke all the meat, or you are the eye, left, cook like this, cook like that. No, fare così, yes, 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 che stai facendo, you know, throwing stuff at me. We learn you know, the basics of cooking. We had to close the restaurant, and there was a friend of mine, okay, we have a job for me in another restaurant. first business started at short, did you? That was my, my first business as a partner. I had a good reputation now, Malta, like the guy, loser. Then he had a DM, he had a flat file, he had a black beer. I was like, I'm a DM, then he had a DM. To be honest, it kind of helped me now in the future. I was like, I'm going to go to the DM, the DM, the DM. I want to open a restaurant, you know, I want some ideas. I'm like a partner. And I started my first business. When we opened it, it was something different, you know, something Malta hasn't seen before. Like I mean, I used to be obsessed with London style, British style cooking. I'm obsessed with Gordon and Jamie Oliver. And I love burgers. So I wanted to, like I said, I'm now New York best. So I fused my cooking recipes from the kitchen, I put them into burgers. Like for example, if we make pasta with truffle, burger with truffle. If I made pasta carbonara, burger carbonara. Slowly, slowly I built from there. Oh, you save money, you don't invest, you start learning about business. First I started with, I kept on going with the, with the burger trend. It was my thing, and after I left from short, I wanted to do something a bit bigger. I wanted to grow a bit more open, more outlets. Then I partnered up with Frankie and Joseph. If it wasn't for them, GV, I wouldn't be here. They believed in me. You know, when I left from short, I was completely broke. That's one euro, Magelli. We helped each other, you know, I got my ideas, they got investment, and then we started investing all together when I was becoming a bit better. I was started with the, with the burger thing, till now it's doing well. And then I used to mostly bored, and my, you know, I always want to do more. You know, even if I'm the richest man in the world, you know, I'm really old. If I have strength and time, I want to make more stuff. I hope not Vinta, you know? Well, I've always liked the Japanese, Asian stuff. Like even my favorite film is The Last Samurai. I'm obsessed with samurais. I like some Kifandi samurai swords, work, you know, I like these things. And I want to do something different, to take a risk, you know? For the fact that I don't know how to do the COVID. I'm a, I got an, a good opportunity, I got a vision and I went for it. So, you know, I like challenges, I like to fail, I failed a lot of times. What I do before I open a concept, I always look around me. For example, Valletta, I'm a tancha Asian. And I know how people at the moment, it's a bit a trend. Like if you, it's a damn thing, it's a trend. Right now, Japanese food, Asian food is a trend, you know, all over the world. So I went from burgers to Asian food. I built up an, a team from Asia, I learned from them. And we built up a, a thing. The business sector, you make it. You know, my advantage is, you know, I always believe the best way to run a restaurant and the best restaurant to be successful, the owner has to be a chef. Why? He and I can do the work myself. Alura, if we're doing bad, I work. I'm in the roster. I involve myself. So, that helps a lot. Bish restaurant in Murtaiyep, you have to be there. If you're not going to be there, the fish the half. 
COVID took a big hit on us all. Of Keith, it was really... Bars and restaurants took the biggest hit too. You know, I have a bar, that one. I'm going to change it to the coffee shop. I should herba shurma lo. It was loop bar before. You have to risk. If you don't risk, you know, I like to risk. I like to fail. You know, what I have is... I'm very humble, you know. I started from nothing and I ended up with nothing again. It doesn't matter to me. You know, at least he's right. When all the restaurants was closed, I opened a food truck in Bahar Cha. It was packed every day, all the time. I believe when COVID is over, everything will be back to normal. And my, the problem is that I can job at all. Luckily, I don't have to do it. If the business is not you will manage. If you have to you have to have good ideas and you have to work hard. If you don't work hard, what you have to do is You're not going to manage. Here are a lot of restaurants. Really, I'm one of them. Except some restaurants will close. But not because they will fail financially, they will fail mentally. Da? Ah, this is more of a mental battle, a really financial battle. You know? people are going to come, which is true. I know it's like a mental depression mode. Da? But I don't know if it's Catering and restaurants is, is mostly about the passion. Obvious about making money, but I don't know if it's more about the passion and the adrenaline and the fun of seeing a restaurant full. Talk, you know, yes, I probably like to work a lot. I see now when my restaurant is full, not that I can't do it, I can't do it. You know, it's not finished. I do know the difference, even when people go out to eat. You know, here, let's test, you know, I don't go out. You can't do it, you can't do it, you can't do it. You know, to talk about that too. Delivery saved us. If it wasn't for delivery, we'd be all zero. As people are not going out. People only went out a bit in December with impact to Alehissa. It's really not a problem. Delivery is, delivery is, they're saving the country, Palissa. In Indonesia, the best restaurants are doing delivery, so if there is something bad is going on, we force. Odo Bilal, focus, come up with new ideas, and don't let it get you mentally. If we don't give up mentally, we can all manage. We you know? If restaurants work together, we will do much better. I just hope we all make it. There's no competition, Aliyah. If we stop talking bad about each other, the business will do much better. Just, you know, chill. That's my message. Stay positive. So, post negative to compare. I'm a positive, type of call in the brain way.